Julian, thanks so much for hanging out with us uh, for a little bit here as we get ready for signing day. Looking forward to it, of course. And you're enrolling in January. I want to talk about that in a second. But I want to start with your season. You know, tell me about your senior season. I know you were excited to, to go out there that that final year at Penn Hills and really kind of lead the team. Um, you know, you guys fell fell short a little bit of of the goal in in what was a, a game that probably should have gone your way. But overall, yeah. how, how you feel about the how your senior season went? I feel like our season went very well. Um, obviously didn't finish out how we wanted it to, but um, it was great just going out there one last season with my brothers and playing with them. Um, fortunately, like you said, we didn't get to win it, but now I'm on to bigger things and looking forward to it. That, I mean, that Pine Richland game, I mean, I got to ask you about, it. I mean, what, what happened there? I mean, I, I know the final score is 16 to nine, but it wasn't a 16 to nine game. It was like, yeah. it was a nine to nothing game. I mean, you guys won that game. Like how, yeah. how, how did it, it is probably something that'll bug you for, you know, a long time, but how'd that yeah. one get away in the fourth quarter there? Um, I feel like as a team, we start playing too conservative. Um, like you said, I feel like we dominated the whole game, but when it really came down to it at the end, we started getting too conservative and we thought we won the game before it was over. And, got out of our hands yeah that's rough that's rough I know going into the season I remember talking to you over the summer you were excited about you know maybe being able to throw more this year and be able to show a little bit more of what you can do with the passing game and and you had what 20 touchdowns and like three picks or something like that yeah 16 1700 yards I mean did you feel like you were able to to throw it around more than you had in previous years yes yeah, so, um got we so we threw it a little more and I don't know. I was able to get in a, a little better rhythm and um, find more guys open. But mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like this year we really locked in on that in the um, in the summer, going to more seven on sevens and stuff like that, doing chemistry with the team, getting time with my guys, and that really helped. And you worked with uh, Mike McMahon for a while too, right? O over the last year, um, how much did that help you? Just having you know, him, but also just having a, a, a quarterback coach and somebody really to help work on, on mechanics and things like that. How much do you feel like that helped you heading into the season and throughout the season? Coach McMahon, uh, he's a great coach. Um, coming from his experiences, and he knows a lot. He teaches me everything. Um, he does a great job at his job, helped me with my footwork, let me know what he knows. He's an even better person. Help me with anything. He helped me with everything. Kind of get in contact with coaches for me. Just he's a great guy. Just help me with everything, not on the field, but off the field also. You're. Uh, I was just sort of as I was getting ready for signing day. I was kind of going back over the 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 story of you know your whole thing over the summer. You go to Pitt's passing camp and you light it up and put on a show. They all say it was one of the best passing camps they've seen. You know, passing camp performances and. You end up going back and visiting Pitt a little bit later. You get up on the board with Coach Signetti. He says, yeah, you know what? We, we believe in you. We want you to be here. You go. You commit and all of that. You're with it all through the season. And then at the end of the year, their season ends, and they make a coaching change, make a coaching change with the offensive coordinator. What was your reaction when you heard that news that that Coach Signetti was getting fired and they were going to have a new, uh, a new OC? Um, I was kind of surprised. I heard rumors about it, but I didn't know if it was going to be true. But when it happened, um, Coach Narduzzi actually called me first and let me know about that. So mm. I respect him for doing that. But I wanted to thank Coach Narduzzi for giving me opportunity and um, Coach Signetti also. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I guess, you know, in a situation like that, you're the quarterback in the class, coordinator gets fired. There might be a thought of like, oh, what what does that mean for me? You know what I mean? Am I yeah. still am I still the guy? When when Coach Narduzzi called you, did that sort of reassure you that like okay, yeah, I'm still good. This is still my spot. They, uh, that's you know, I'm still their guy. Yeah, definitely. When he called me, let me know that they're still in with me 100. Uh, percent He let me know everything that was going on and that I would be the first to know whenever he hired somebody before the media and everything. <laughs> like really helped with my confidence and everything. But he let me know uh, that he called me. So did he did he called you before the news got out when he called you about Cade Bell? Yeah, he called me. Got he it. said he called me and then he called the rest of the quarterbacks in the quarterback room before oh, that, anything got that. out. But as you and I talked, about a week before that, all of a sudden the offensive coordinator at Western Carolina started following you. 
Yeah. Do you, do you remember when you saw that? Because I remember like asking, because I, I saw it and I asked you, I was like, hey, was this guy following you before? And you're like, no, yeah. he just started following me like a day ago. Did that, you know, w- w- did you start looking into it at that point? Were you kind of like, yeah. I wonder what's happening here? Yeah, a little bit. I was looking um, at a lot of options. I kept seeing rumors. And when you said that to me, then I started looking at him. And I'm like, possibly, <laughs> but I didn't really know. And then when it happened, I'm like, that's crazy that he said that. so then uh, you know coach narduzzi calls you tells you that this is going to happen this is who he's hiring uh i'm assuming you heard from coach bell then a couple days later you know what was your first conversation you know did he just call you on the phone i know he came to visit you but did he call you on the phone first i mean yeah what what, what did he have to say what was that conversation like uh he first called me he was just introducing himself let me know about himself we had some regular conversations and He's telling me about his family, how he grew up. He's telling me his background, let me know about him. Then he told me a little bit about his office. And then mm-hmm. he told me he would be up to see me and then he went from there. So, you know, there's the phone call and then he comes to visit you at your house, right? Yeah. And yeah. then and then the Wait, official no. visit. Um, oh, he actually, did... yeah, the um the home visit never happened. He was out uh recruiting other players oh, uh, okay. around the country. But, but then, then you were going to go on your official visit over the weekend, yeah. anyway, right? So, yeah. okay. So tell me about that visit. I'm sure you spent a ton of time with him yeah. on the visit. You know, what, what do you think of him? I mean, you, you've met, I haven't met him yet. He hasn't, he hasn't talked He's to a, the media yet. So you tell us yeah. what, I mean, what, what's Cade Bell like when you sit down in a room with him? He's a great guy. Um, He's a great coach. Very smart. Knows a lot of things. Teaching me some of his stuff. Um, He's a great guy. He got that Southern accent. Kind of funny, but. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, nice. he just seemed like a great guy already. Mm-hmm. It was good spending time with him. Did now? Did he get it? You know, did you guys watch film together? Did he show you some Western Carolina offense uh, on yeah. on video? What What did he, he break down for you? What were some of your observations about that offense? Uh, how he likes to throw the ball. He was really breaking down the concepts. Why he was doing everything. That's a big thing that I like to know is why everything's happening. Um. Show me how he like to spread the ball out, really get the running backs involved, just going into depth what he likes to do and why he likes to do it. There's there's a question, you know, they obviously had the top top the number one offense in FCS last year. And so some people look at it and they're like, okay, that's good, but is it gonna work in the ACC? Do you see things in his offense that you're like, okay, yeah, that'll work at any level? Like just it's a scheme that's gonna get guys open and yeah. give them a chance to make plays. Yeah. Really well offense. I think a lot of guys do the same thing. It's about how you line up and how you do it. And I feel like he was doing a great job at that. And people could say that, but if you really look at it, the numbers that he was putting up, like you can't just do that on any level of college, anywhere really. So I think he'll right. be able to get the job done. Now there there were a couple of his former players who who are gonna transfer to Pitt, the wide receiver Sincere Lee and the running back Desmond Reed. They were there on the yeah. official visit weekend too. Did you get a chance to talk to those guys? What did they tell you about him and about that offense? Yeah, we chopped it up. We was telling he was telling us about how cool he was and how he really likes his offense. He gets all the guys involved. And mm-hmm. Nice. They're they're also great people too. Yeah. Do they have Southern accents too? Or I, I forget where those guys are from. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. And then you're, uh, you're enrolling in January. Like we said, how long, you know, how, how long ago did you have to start working toward that to make that happen? Cause you got to get all the schoolwork done. You get all the coursework done um, by the end of December. You know, when, yeah. when did you decide you wanted to enroll early and, and how long have you been working at it? Really when I was um, re offer, when I went back on the visit the first time we talked about it, it was, it was up for discussion, and I think that was right before school started. And by the time school started, I made the decision, and then I had to pick up a, a couple extra classes to make it happen. And yeah, so really by the beginning of school season, I really made that a decision. So has it been has it been hard like this fall? Like I mean, you, you're 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 also going through a football season as well, yeah. so you're practicing all that, and then you're taking extra classes. I mean, has this been a pretty busy fall for you? Yeah. It really has, but I think this should help me get ready for college with all the stuff coming up. So really a learning experience and it should give me next level of ready next level, ready for the next level. Sorry. Yeah. Now uh, you might have fewer classes in college, really. You might yeah. only have like four or five in a semester yeah. as opposed to like ten or whatever you took this year. 
Um, obviously, I mean, your local guy, you went to a, did you go to every pit home game this year? Were there any you missed? Yes, sir. I'm, uh, yeah, I was at all of them. At all. Okay. So you saw, you saw some ups and some downs, right? I mean, yeah. uh, you know, the Louisville game, the Boston college game, the Wofford game, they were all wins, but I mean, you saw four losses in there as well. Uh, what, or, or however many they lost at home in, in the whole season going three and nine, not the kind of season they wanted to have. What, what were some of the things you noticed about the team this year? What gives you confidence and optimism about being better next year and going forward? Even with all the games that they lost their, um, their coaching staff and their team, I say they really stuck together and, Nobody was like really down. Everybody tried to be positive and help towards the team. And I feel like there's like there's been bright spots in every game to where they had a chance, but they didn't always capitalize or execute at the best of their ability. So I feel like I feel like we could fix that and build on it. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. What do you uh what are you looking forward to most about getting the pit? Moving into college, you know what I mean? Is, is it living on your own? You know, I don't know. Eating wherever you want. <laughs> like, what do you? Yeah. What are you looking forward to most about uh, being probably in college? The, probably too? the meals. I'll say probably <laughs> the meals. Also, um, I like learning new stuff. I feel like uh, this is a big learning opportunity, uh, on the field and off the field. I just like learning new stuff and just exploring. So yeah, it should mm-hmm. be fun. Okay. All right. Well, Julian, thanks so much, man. I appreciate you taking some time. It was a lot of fun to uh, catch up with you and congratulations on a great senior season and great career really at Penn Hills and and now signing and moving on to the next stage. So uh, good luck with signing and and have a good holiday. We'll uh, see you uh, once you move to Pitt. All right. You too. Thanks for having me.